So today we are playing with our spinnaker. Oh, it looks good now, hold on. It's been like this all day long. Yep, looks perfect. Morning fries! Today we're leaving Canoe Cove and heading north finally. We got the good news from Surge and so we don't have to stay here, we can start moving north! Yay! Today we're going to Irish Bay. It's on Saturna Island and it should give us a good jumping off point for crossing the Strait of Georgia, which we hear is super weather dependent and super current dependent, so we need to set ourselves up well to cross that. Here we go today! Gotta do a little roll and hitch action. How fast are you on? Doesn't matter how fast I'm going sailing. <laughs> I'm going two and a half knots. Nah, I'm not. <laughs> I want a motor boat. It's not a motor boat. But I want a spaceship. How fast are you going to be? We're going 2.75 knots with the spinnaker in the main. I mean, I mean it does give nice speed, but it's also really nice shade for you. I know, I really like the shade. <laughs> we were able to sail for a little while, and we were going really quickly, nine knots. And then the wind died, and so we're back to motoring. And we're having a good time, right Pickle? Yeah. That is the turn island where we're headed. Good morning, fries. Last night we anchored out at, of Reed Island, and this is our jumping off point to go through Gabriella Pass in the Northern Gulf Islands in Canada. Um, I'm a little nervous because as we move north, the currents get, you know, progressively worse through cuts and passages. So I made Spencer wake up at 6.30 this morning, even though we're not having to leave until like 8.30, but I just wanted to go over the game plan. <laughs> Tell them why we had to get up at 6.30. I told them. They know. They agree with me. <laughs> okay, Gabriela Passage. Few passes along the entire BC coast are as straightforward as Gabriela Passage. That's good. You told me it was terrifying. Oh, I know, but listen. Keep, keep listening. This pass is a yes-no situation. Either your boat has, has the guts to buck the current or it doesn't. Because... Yeah. In a slower moving sailboat, at least, there is no chance to wiggle through if varying, if arriving too late. See, that's why I'm nervous. Gabriola Passage is, a, is basically a straight line stream with the main turbulence occurring with the flood. Okay, that's where... That's, that's what we're going on. I know. Current in this pass can attain over eight knots on both flood and ebb. The danger at the west end is near the light beacon off De Buxante Point, where a vessel can get swept onto this reef in either tide direction. Cool, let's do it. So maybe we should go now, because if we arrive early, then it'll be ebbing a little bit, so we'll be going against it just a little bit. 
Because they say the turbulence is with the flood. That was my idea this morning. Oh. <laughs> I told you that this morning. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. And then you're like, you're you remember right. Deception Pass? It was crazy. We can't do that. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. You're right. Let's go. favor so instead of anchoring off after the pass we're gonna try and cross the Strait of Georgia and head north. Run it. Hey. Good times aboard the Millennial Falcon. We started going into the wind with the current against us so now we're just getting slopped around motoring against it. this awesome anchorage where nobody else is but it does have a little bit of roll to it from the Strait of Georgia so we're gonna try our hand at stern tying which supposedly you do that a lot in the northern latitudes we've never done it Spencer made this awesome spool of polypropylene uh, line. rope line it's 600 feet of it and it's hooked to the back of our boat so Spencer's gonna get in the dinghy and take the polypropylene line all the way to shore and try and tie it somewhere over there. And then we're gonna try and bring the boat around. We have the anchor out, so that'll hold our nose towards the Strait of Georgia, which may make the bucking a little bit more tolerable as opposed to the rolling. Okay, ready? Yeah, you see. There you go. Those rocks back there where we're gonna park. Okay. And when I get it kind of spun around, you can hand me the end of that line. Okay. Oh, I run to shore. Okay. Did I get it? Uh, yeah. I'm sure it'll be go just as smoothly as you just said. Give me that rope. Do we need to back down on it? Um, we could if you want to try to set this one a little more. Yeah. Reverse? Yeah. There you go. Cool! You like it? Yeah. Okay, travel real talk for a second. Even though this is a beautiful anchorage, it's actually a really shitty place to anchor because the tall walls make it so there's no wind, so it's extremely hot, which means I'm extremely pleasant to be around. Pickle! It also is super rolly because it's open to the Strait of Georgia, and there's a ton of mosquitoes. <laughs> so, just so you guys know, I mean, I don't want you thinking that it's all roses. Okay, continue B-roll. So 
the winds have shifted and now they are coming straight into the bay, which means that we are pointed in the right direction, but the aft line to the shore is basically useless. There's no need for it. And so we decided we're gonna untie it. It's 9.43. We're gonna go ahead and do that just in case anything happens, like anchor dragging or anything. So yeah, the joys of uh, anchoring in a shitty anchorage. You have to go pull lines at 9.45. <laughs> And then we made sure that our anchor was set by backing down on it. Oh, put the bridle on. Yeah, being anchored in a shitty anchorage is the result of having to do this stuff like this. Yeah, but you don't be like my people and shit, so it's a little bit nicer. It's a trade-off. It's always, it's always something. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching Fries. If you like this video, hit subscribe, hit the like button. There's a little bell on the bottom. Give you guys a little notification when our videos are up. That'd be awesome. Uh, until next time, we'll see you guys next week. Bye.